to the Boundary BB Show. I'm so glad you joined us. I'm here at J. Peppy's here in Dallas, Texas, and we're here for a low rider convention. And I've got Bobby, and he's got a car, and we're going to talk about that. You'll learn, hopefully, a lot more about low riders. Bobby, thanks for joining us on camera. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Tell me about your car you've got out here today. Uh, my car is a uh, 1985 Buick Regal, and uh, we actually built it in about three weeks. Oh, really? You know, it was a pretty... Uh, it was a pretty intense build just to get something for the Dub Show back in uh, May. When you that. say build, what do you mean? Uh, it could be anywhere from hydraulics, paint, rims, interior, uh, anything that has to do with exterior. Uh, it all depends because everything's on a time crunch. Some guys can take six months building one. Some guys can take three years building one. It all depends. You do a lot of low riding shows, or uh, every time we can, we try to make it out to whatever's local or even far, uh, just like next month, we'll be at the Vegas show. Oh, there's you know, a big show next month. Yeah, it's the okay. big, biggest in the West Coast. Okay, where is that going to be? Held? That's going to be in Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh. oh, really? So you actually travel to the Low Rider show? Uh, yes, we do. It's, it, it, it's pretty expensive, but it's it's part of uh, the Low Rider theme, the culture, and all that. So. What do you do for a living? I'm actually, I, I, I own a diesel repair shop in, right here in West Dallas. Okay, kind of line with what you do. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for taking the time to sit down and talk with us and tell me again what kind of car you have. It's a 1985 Buick Regal. Uh, it's uh, lime green and uh, we're from a high-class uh, high car club. Okay, I'll upload me some photos and we'll put them with this interview so my audience can see. Yeah. I want to thank you for being here on the Valder BB Show because we don't do anything but A-list celebrities. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Thank you to have you. Hi, thanks for joining us on the Valder BB Show. We're live here at J. Pepe's Restaurant here in Dallas. And we're here for the Low Rider Show. It's fabulous. The cars are unique. They're beautiful. Some of them are so handcrafted. You would think they're just collector's items, but I found out they actually drive some of those cars. I've got Julio, and he's going to tell us about his car. Welcome, Julio. Hey. Tell me about your car. What kind of car? I uh, got a 64 Impala Super Sport. Oh, really? Okay, yes. did you buy it? Did you fix it? Uh, I fixed it by myself. I mean, a couple of body shops like Peron's uh, Customs and Bible in Cereals. I mean... Is custom shops real big here in Dallas to make the cars the way you guys want them? No. Uh, actually, the, we got some body shops that they do some good paint jobs. Uh -huh. But like the chrome parts, we got to bring it from, from, from California. Because we don't got that many shops here on, on Dallas, so we got to export the part from, from LA to Dallas. Okay, that sounds like a great opportunity for entrepreneurs who are listening to this to start a new business here in Dallas then. That's right. Because the car, the, I've seen many uh, low rider car shows, so obviously there's a need. Yeah. When you have a car like this, do you drive it every day or you just drive it to car shows? How do, how do you handle that? Uh, we just drive the cars like like every weekend. Uh, we got some benefit shows, uh, big shows, so we try to ride it uh, pretty much all the weekends. Do you have like an everyday car then? Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is like your weekend yeah, just, car. Yeah, this is just a hobby. Just, this is just a hobby. I bring my family, my kids, uh, just to drive around the shows. Yeah, now that's one thing I found out. It's a very family-oriented yeah. um, event. When I come to the car shows, I feel so lucky to be here among this culture and having the opportunity to see these beautiful cars. Upload me some pictures and I'll put them with our interview. How about that? All right. You heard it directly from Julio right here on the Belder BB Show. Stick with us. I've got a couple of more interviews for you. Hey, thank you for joining us at the Valder BB Show. We're live here from J. Pepe's Restaurant in Dallas, Texas. They've got a low rider show going on, and if you have not been to one, you have been missing out. I mean, the cars are phenomenal, but let me tell you what's even better. The people, the people here are exceptional. This is my second low rider show, and people treat you like family. So come on out the next time you hear about a low rider show. But I've got a great group here. I'm gonna talk to Solo. And what's the name of your group again? A-Class Music. A-Class Music. They've got a new CD right here, and I'm going to talk with Solo. Solo, tell me about A-Class Music. Well, it's a group of uh, hip-hop, pop, and R&B music fused together to create something new, original, bringing the world a new sound of, of entertainment. How long you guys been together as a group? Well, we've been knowing each other for since we was 15. We're 26 now. We've been doing this strong for about four or five years going on. What's your dream for 
for your group. Every 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 book, every every group, every act has to have a dream. Our dream is to come as successful as we can. You know, reach the top, but go beyond the top because the sky's the limit. You know, motivate people, the younger kids, to to let them know that you can get out here and become anything you want to be by working hard. And the main thing is, is stay in school and you know, know know how you're supposed to operate and how you're supposed to work in life and how strong you have to be out here to do what we do every day. Have you ever heard a new magazine called Takeover Magazine? It's a hip-hop magazine? No, no, I haven't heard that. You should. It's really, it's about up-and-coming people like you guys where they feature you. And if you get a chance, I'll give you a card. Okay. But you need to know about Takeover Magazine. They probably want to do a story on you. You know, everybody has to have help in this world to yes. get to where they're going. Every person that you feel that has made it, if you talk to them, they'll tell you, somebody helped them. Yes. All right, then. Well, I like what you guys are standing for, and I would love to, uh, I can't wait to listen to this, the group. All right, copy two is the CD. Where can they get a copy? Uh, you can do this with that. You can pretty much tell us. Yeah, you just go on your main website, aclassmusicyes.com. Aclass Music? Yes, you can also go on uh, YouTube. Uh, YouTube? www.youtube.com slash aclasswag. Okay. That's for two Gs. Okay, YouTube slash, tell me that again, because I think they can only hear A-class me. Aclasswag. Aclasswag.com. And you can go on to the main website, aclassmusicyes.com. Aclassmusicyes.com. So check them out. They're a young group doing good things, and I have a opportunity to speak with Solo and JT. And JT. Hey, thanks for joining us once again on the Bounder BB Show. Hi, thanks and welcome to the Bounder BB Show. I'm here live at J. Peppy's Restaurant in Dallas, Texas, and we're at the Low Rider Car Show. You have not lived until you've been to a Low Rider Car Show. The people are friendly, the food is great, and the cars are fabulous, and the women are really hot. I'm not kidding about that. But I'm going to be talking to George today, and he's the promoter of it, and we're going to talk about his group also, too. George, welcome. Hi, how's it going, baby? Nice to meet thank you. you for, thank you so much for inviting me. Hey, thank you for having me on your show. This is so much fun. I'm not kidding. It's my second little ride of car show. I met you at the first one. Yeah. This is so much fun. The people are so family-oriented. That is what gets next to me. Yeah, yeah, this is a... This is a lifestyle. All the people that's out here, you know, they, most of them grew up doing this for, you know, since they were little. Mm -hmm. And it's just uh, it's a culture, you know, it's a lifestyle that, you know, they live and it's a passion they got for the cars and their slabs and everything, you know. Okay, you created this and I know it took a whole army or as they say, it took a village to put this together. But how do you feel when you see all the people out here uh, uh, getting along, uh, communicating, looking at the cars, talking, buying and selling? How do you feel? Feels good. Feels real, real good. I uh, appreciate everybody that came out, you know, all the car clubs out here in Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth. Appreciate y'all. And I mean, this is an amazing fitting. Okay, you put this together, but also, too, you've got a group that you're promoting. What's the name of your group? Uh, the name of the group is Southgate Productions. It started uh, back in 92 with me and my brother Short. Uh, we started doing, um, I started since the age of 12 playing drums. So, you know, it's been in the family. And uh, since we were little, you know, my brother, he always stuck with me. And, you know, we recorded from t make, from tape player to tape player and trying to be DJs. And it just grew up and blew and up. Now you, and now you guys ha actually have a group because you guys were performing on center stage out there, correct? Yes, yes. So when you guys perform, do you perform at different venues like this? Yes, we do. Uh, we do uh, nightclubs, bars, I mean, you name it. it <laughs> yeah. You, you do it, you name it, you do it. Yeah, Where yeah. could they find out more information about your, your group just in case they wanted to have, you know, Southgate Production come out? Uh, they could go on Facebook, Southgate Pro 45, uh, YouTube, Southgate Pro 45, SoundCloud, Southgate Productions, Twitter, Southgate Productions, um, YouTube. And all, all the in. social media yeah. places. When, do you have another car show or this is your first one, I think? Uh, no, this is one of many that we done. Uh, this is the second one that we done this year. Uh, we got another event coming soon. It's going to be like a Christmas event, toy drive. And uh, we're putting that together now. Okay, yeah. you got to keep the Bounder BB Show updated so that we can share that Most information definitely. with our audience. I want to thank you so much, George, thank for you, doing this and being here and giving us carte blanche to interview you and your, your team. I really appreciate thank that. You. All right. Thank you very much. Stay with the Bounder BB Show. We got more from the Lowrider Car Show. Thank you.
Greetings and welcome to the Boundary BB Show. I'm live here at J. Peppy's once again, and I'm interviewing uh, participants and uh, car enthusiasts here at the Low Rider Car Show. This is my next guest. Who do I have? My name is Jay Champ, representative of Southgate Productions and Men's League. We are here. All right. Tell me what Southgate Production is again, real quick. I mean, we we just an up and tough, up and coming group. You know what I mean? We just out here grinding, just trying to you know make our mark in the game. So I'm gonna think you're hip hop. Yeah, yes, ma'am, we are. Okay, I've learned that hip hop is so positive, but you know, in the world, it has doesn't have a positive attitude. But right. everything hip hop influences is from I see Target commercials to Walmart commercials. They're all influenced by hip hop. Right. Do you guys know you have that big of influence? We do. That's why we, you know we try to structure our music to like reach out to people and you know show them like by example how we're doing this so you know they can be motivated and you know come out here and you know strive for their dreams if this is something that they want to come out here and achieve we're just showing you know if, if it's there seize the moment you know what i mean so you know just keeping it positive and you know well i like what i'm seeing out here you know people are here for purposes the cars but they're eating they're buying they're selling they're communicating you know, this is such a family-oriented thing. I, I think it's it's a wonderful opportunity for people to cross out of their comfort zone. Right. You're so young. Right. And, and your comfort zone should be big. You shouldn't have any problems. You're so young. Right. I mean, I always say, like, when I'm uncomfortable, I'm in my comfort zone. Okay. I like you know what that. I mean? So, I mean, and, you know, we're just trying to uh, keep up so we don't have to catch up. You know what I mean? So, we're just trying to... You know, okay. step outside of our bounds and things that were out of reach, you know, we're just making sure we get them and reach them. Southgate Production, do you guys have a CD? We have multiple CDs. Oh, really? We do. Um, you can also go on datpiv.com, download it for free. Uh, you can go to iTunes, you can go to your App Store, any Android or Apple phone. Um, go to YouTube, check out our videos. I mean, we've been doing this, making our mark, been on the radio stations, getting magazine love. I mean, we really been out here working. All right, I can see you working. Got a lot of places, a lot of social media for you. You guys got the address. Go there and check them out, and you might be surprised because you might really like them. Thanks for joining us once again on the Bounder BB Show. Hi, thanks and welcome to the Bounder BB Show. I'm here at J. Peppy's in Dallas. It's a restaurant, very family oriented, very reasonably priced. You gotta come down, we're on Stimmons Freeway. But I've got a car show going on, a low rider car show, and it's fabulous. If you've never been to a low rider car show, you need to put that on your bucket list because it is lots of fun. Now I'm gonna to talk to one of the members of Southgate Productions. Who do I have? I'm Raw Truth, nice to meet you. Hi, Raw well, Truth, thank you so much. You're such a gentleman. <laughs> thank you. All right, everybody, the, the people I've talked to before, they love Southgate Production. Tell me, you tell me your version of Southgate Production. Well, uh, I, was, uh, I was actually signed to a major label. I was with Capitol Records, and uh, I dropped off from them, and I was real good friends with Georgie Boy, and he kind of made, uh, made me an offer to come with the family, and just watching their movements, the things that you see, what type of things they do. They do excellent community works and things like that, so, I didn't want to sign any kind of contract, uh, but after meeting Georgia Boy and seeing what he does, it felt like the right place. And I mean, there's more stuff uh, besides the car club, the car clubs and stuff. They have uh, charity events. They help feed the homeless. You know, oh, really? you don't see a lot of that anymore in hip hop out here in Dallas. So no, man, you don't. And so that makes you guys more than just a group that's together to make music. Yeah, it's deeper than rap, that's for sure. It's much deeper. It's more it's more about bringing getting the community notarized as far as, you know, the Dallas Fort Worth area is getting it notarized, getting people to know that we ain't just all street thugs and rappers and stuff like that. We we actually trying to do things to better the community. Okay. People have a perception of rap. I'm gonna ask you about your grill. That's like really cool. <laughs> I, I couldn't do that to my teeth. What's the, what's the symbol of the grill? It, it kind of just points me in the direction of where I want to go. I'm, I like flashy things, so, uh, you know, I'm not real materialistic, but I like to have at least, like, one nice thing. I buy my kids everything, so this is my one nice thing that I buy for myself. And uh, it gives me confidence, you know what I mean? It just uh -huh. makes me feel like I'm, I'm doing what I want to do, you know, wearing what I want to wear, acting how I want to act. Okay. Well, hip-hop is, is, is so big, as I had told someone earlier, it's in everything. If you listen to, to mainstream commercials, Walmart, Target, other entities, you hear hip-hop music. Where do you see hip-hop music going? 
Well, you know, I'm, I'm one of the, the, the reason why they call me Raw Truth is I give like a extreme uh, point of view on these type of things. Uh, the way that hip hop is going now, I would like to see it come back to like how it was in the days of Nas and Biggie where they actually talked about community based things instead of, you know, flashy things, things like that. So, okay. right. like, like where I see it going is, is if, if, it, if, 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 if it continues to build and people rap about important things instead of things that don't matter, you can actually make a difference in the country, start changing the way everybody thinks by using your voice to do so, so. Well, I see you guys making a difference. You guys are young, you're energetic, and I think you make good music. I want to thank you for joining us here once again on the Valder BB Show. Thank you for joining me here on the Valder BB Show. I'm having a great time. I'm here at Jane Pepe's Restaurant. If you have not been here, it's very family oriented, very reasonably priced, and the food is wonderful. But today I'm really here because there's a low rider um, extravaganza outside. Beautiful cars, beautiful people, and I have one of the uh, participants. He's going to tell us about his group. Tell me your name again. I'm Chemist, uh, K E M I S T. I'm a, a producer. I'm originally from Florida. Uh, right now, I live in San Antonio, and I'm out here showing support for Southgate Productions. Okay, you and told I, me you do beats, and mm -hmm. that's fascinating for me. Tell me about that. Well, I started uh, probably like an elementary school and worked my way up as far as equipment goes, um, you know, and I really started taking it serious probably like after high school when I started making a little money off of it. And I've been doing it ever since, so uh, you know that's what's kind of keeping me afloat right now. Okay, so when you make beats, just say like a person wants to do a commercial. I have people come to me all the time, they want to do a commercial, but they don't have any music. Is that what you do? You yeah, I bring can do, your commercial to life? Yeah, if, if they want a specific track that they want, I can make the track come alive. I do uh, custom beats, so if an artist has a song that they might have recorded on a beat that they are not available to get, I can make a beat around the acapella that they have. You know, I can, um, you know, I sample, so if they want an up north type track, even though we're down south here, if they want an up north type track, then I can remake a track to sound like it's up north, you know? So I do a lot of customization, okay. a lot of tracks from scratch, things like that. If someone listening uh, wanted to get a hold of you, because that's, that's a real missing component as we move to uh, television on our phones and our iPads, most people don't have the soundtrack. So if they want to get a hold of you, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, you can go to SoundCloud. Uh, you can Google Chemist on the track. Uh, you can go to SoundCloud. I, I, it's normally updated every week with new available tracks. Um, it has the pricing. It has my email on there, my Facebook. All the different links to get in touch with me is on SoundCloud. And uh, it's Chemist, K-E-M-I-S-T. All right, Chemist. I want to thank you so thank you. very much. Thanks for talking to us. No and problem. thanks for educating my public. You know, there's no a problem. lot for people to learn. It really is. And you are a smart person if you continue to learn throughout your lifetime. I want to thank you for being here today on the Valder Beebe Show, and I hope you learned something new. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show for television and radio. I'm so excited you joined me. I'm here at J. Peppy's Restaurant. We're in Dallas, Texas, off of Stimmons uh, Freeway. Great family restaurant, great food, great ambiance. But right outside, we've got a lowrider show. And as I've said before, if you have never been to a lowrider show, you need to put that on your bucket list. It is so much fun. The people are nice. The community is nice. And I've got some people going to tell us about how much fun it is to be a part of this. Who do I have? we got a uh, search styles from uh, Sackgate Productions. Short dog right here behind me. Okay. Now, I know you guys are a part of bringing this out here. Tell me about uh, your production company. Okay, well, you know, uh, Sagate Productions, we, we really try to uh, focus on uh, branding new music out here in Dallas with, uh, you know, uh, various artists from Fort Worth to Arlington, uh, maybe uh, across the county of, uh, you know, any, anything that's within the, 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 the strip of Texas. We try to product as, as many newcomers, old comers, and, and middle comers to, to come out, do music, enjoy your music, and, and, and just build your craft at, at, at a close, at a close, um, you know, new, a new symbol on a label, if, as you want to say, kind of. That's what the production is trying to do, become a, a, a big label that's trying to be somewhere close to the Texans and, and put Texas on the map so everybody see that it's, it's, it's going down in Texas as well, you know, in a big well, you way. Know, Austin is, is called the other Hollywood because they do so many movies there. Is Dallas being known as music or are we getting a foothold in the music industry? 
I, I, I would want to think that Dallas is 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 is, is up and coming and, and trying to make a, a name in this music and uh, in movies. But specifically for Dallas. It's half and half because you don't see as many people trying to come out here and do it. You know what I'm saying? They trying to do it in Austin or they trying to do it somewhere in Atlanta or they trying to do it somewhere where they where they feel like they can get there quicker and faster. But we trying to make it known that you can come here in Texas and get that same treatment you would get in Hollywood or and get in New York or and get in Miami or Florida. We can do it down here too. So that gives us uh, a wide open entrepreneurial field for us to create new opportunities through music. You know, yeah. you guys do hip hop music, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Bears okay. pop. We'll we'll do pop. You know, we working on uh, we we kumbia. You yeah. know, we <laughs> that Tijano music. We got a lot of stuff going. You know, so we ver yeah we versatile. So okay. when I say hip hop, to me hip hop spans all cultures. Right? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Because mean, it's hip hop. It. Yes, it, it is. yes, it is. You know, yeah. I even see Asian people do hip hop. Yeah, you're you know, right. So you're right. It's basically a genre, yeah. and anybody can embrace that genre. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And you guys have uh, music out on the market that people can buy. I heard. Yeah, yeah. You can you can go on YouTube. Uh, Sidegate Production is, is is usually the lead for any type of search you want to look up on Twitter, maybe Facebook, Instagram. Uh, SoundCloud. SoundCloud. <laughs> yeah. It's it's gonna it's gonna be Sidegate Production in some type of form. So you keep trying, and you eventually gonna tap into it, and you can you can catch us. All right then. Well, I want to thank you so much for telling us that, thank and you. I feel like we've learned a lot more. And that's what the Belder BB Show is about. We bring you the best interviews. We bring you. Celebrity interviews, and I've got two celebrities here. So tune in to the Valder BB Show. Visit me on ValderBBShow.com and find out more. Sponsored by Put It By The Line Time, man. Appreciate it, man. One look. Hi, I'm Valder BB, host of the Valder BB Show for television and radio. Go online to ValderBBShow.com where we have the interviews with the most fascinating people on the planet. And I get to talk to this handsome young man today here at J. Pepe's at the Low Rider Car Show. Yeah. Tell me who you are. Uh, I'm the Gator Man, ball player entertainment, uh, artist, producer, CEO in Dallas for a while now, about 15 years now going on. Okay, so yeah. you're an artist, producer, and CEO. Yeah. What's the name of your company? Uh, ball player entertainment. Uh, we've been around for a while. You know, I work with a lot of people out of Houston, Atlanta, so. Okay. Kind of, yeah, just kind of what kind of music do you produce? Uh, it's hip hop. Like okay. it's a rap, you know, but it's such a pop era to where like you gotta kind of get off into that more. But it's mainly hip hop. Okay, hey, hip hop is the the thing. As I was telling someone, when I'm listening at mainstream commercials from mainstream, I'm talking about four to five hundred companies. Yeah. That I hear the beat, I hear the music, and it is hip hop, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Well, back in the game, they thought it wasn't gonna be around this long, and it's still going strong, man. So. Well, uh, right. Hip hop is a force to be reckoned with, so we gotta that's stick right, with it. That's right, because when hip hop really first came mainstream, and we're talking about, let's back up, Reverend Run and Russell. And I know, all those yeah. People, well, people kind of fought against it, but even hip hop really goes further than those groups to me. And Gil Scott Heron. Uh, yeah, as far as the, the blues, the poetry, it's had it's like one I always gave birth to the next. You know, it like, did. Tour, so yeah. I think we're in a new generation of hip hop where the guys. And I have to say this way, you guys aren't as t intimidated as the previous generation. Yeah. When Biggie Smalls was here, people were kind of afraid of him with this yeah. big guy, with, yeah. this, with this big message. But now it is very, very accepted. Uh, uh, well, and we know the culture is very imitated yeah. everywhere. Well, it's the gift and the curse, I kind of think. Uh, I think hip hop kind of needs a little bit of that intimidation, but if it goes too pop, then it's just pop, you know? So mm -hmm. it's it, it's crossing, it's at that thin line to where I think a lot of the hip hop artists are going pop to make money. That's where the money is at, you know? The pop is the stadium money. The hip hop is just the club venues, you know? Follow so, the money. Yeah, so. Well, I want to thank you for being out here and doing uh, your definitely, interview. And I, see, definitely. and I see you got a uh, CD. Oh uh, well, yeah, this is a CD I dropped not too long ago called uh, "Play Crazy." Okay. Uh, so uh, I got like uh, Lil Wayne, Trey Songz, Luda. Like I got a lot of the major artists on this one, and uh, brought you a copy, you okay, know. So. Uh, and where can they get their own copy in case you're uh, uh, okay? My producer said I got a copy. I will tell you later. Go to ValderBBShow.com and I'll let you know where you can get your okay. copy. Hi, and welcome to the Valder BB Show for television and radio. Go to ValderBBShow.com where you can find out more information and more celebrity interviews. I don't talk about the celebrities, I interview the stars. And I've got a pop star here today. Tell me who do I have on the set? We have Petulo with you. All right, Petulo. 
Let me ask you, did you perform out here today? Yes, ma'am, I sure did. Oh, you did, and I missed that? Oh. Well, I wish you wouldn't have. I, I, I performed, did a, did a wonderful show with my boy G Spook here. All right, then. They, yeah. they, he backed you up? Oh, yes. I need, right. I need that back up. All right. I know this that. guy gives me an energy I can't get nowhere else. All right. And who do I have? I'm Dino. Hi, Dino. Nice to meet you. Thanks for being here. We're at the uh, Lowrider Car Show. We're here at J. Peppy's Restaurant. Dino, let me ask you, just tell me real quick, where can we find out more information about you? Go ahead. Dino the Hustler right here with Stu Radio. Tell him. Oh, yeah. Stu Radio. This is my boy material, G Spook. Y'all can find us anywhere in Dallas. Mondays from 7 to 9, Fridays at 7 to 9. Stu Radio. Come All right, you got it. You got it on Facebook, G Spook, everything Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Right. G-Spoo, the entertainer, and right here. Futuro, F-U, number two, U-R-O. Find me on every social network. Got videos coming, single drop in October. Stay tuned. The world is going to know about Dallas. All right. The Bowser BB Show, you heard it right here.